by the Italians is thinking of moving all production to China. I will fight for every good job in America. I'm going to fight to make sure trade is fair, and if it's fair, America will win. Moving all production to China. Folks, this is a gigantic lie. Earlier this week, Chrysler's parent company announced that it is in talks to increase operations throughout the entire world. Now, as Bloomberg News reported, Chrysler referred to adding Jeep production sites rather than shifting output from North America to China. Translation, Chrysler is so flush with cash, it's looking to expand its operations to other countries, including the world's largest customer, and that would be China. Now, Chrysler's success is no smokescreen whatsoever. Today, the company announced 1,100 new jobs at its Jeep assembly plant in Detroit, Michigan. But wait a minute, Mitt Romney, he didn't say anything about that. You see, Mitt Romney would be talking about job creation then, and of course, that's something he says that Barack Obama doesn't know anything about. Now, Chrysler responded to this controversy, and I want you to pay close attention to what a corporation said about what Mitt Romney said. First, they start out saying, let's set the record straight. Jeep has no intention of shifting production of its Jeep models out of North America to China. It's simply reviewing the opportunities to return Jeep output to China for the world's largest auto market. U.S. Jeep assembly lines will continue to stay in operation. A careful and unbiased reading of the Bloomberg take would have saved unnecessary fantasies and extravagant comments. You know what, folks? I don't think the Obama campaign could have written that release any better, but that came from Chrysler ripping on Mitt Romney. In fact, Mitt Romney's entire campaign is about unnecessary fantasies and extravagant comments. His lie about Chrysler was not only dishonest, it was irresponsible. Romney said hundreds of jobs were at stake with no facts whatsoever to support his claim. Where does he get his information? What kind of president is this guy going to be if he gets elected? It's like shouting uh, fire in a crowded theater, don't you think? Romney is also a hypocrite. As President Obama points out, Mitt Romney's plan for the auto workers of Ohio would have actually sent jobs to China. He's hoping you won't remember that his economic plan is more likely to create jobs in China than here in Ohio because it rewards companies that ship jobs overseas instead of companies that create jobs right here in Ohio, right here in the United States of America. If Mitt Romney had been president when the auto industry was on the verge of collapse, we might not have an American auto industry today. We'd be buying cars from China instead of selling cars to China.